bow is one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game. Element reigns supreme, but what about blast? Today we take a look at a rather different build. Build up boost, status trigger, blast bow. Yo, Vaisui here. Did you ever ask yourself? Element is cool and stuff, but what about blast? I did. To be fair, blast on bow is rather weak. You get a lot of burst potential, but the longer the hunt goes, the more prominent the gap between element and status becomes. Maybe there is a way to make it more usable. Bow is a special weapon in that case. The only status that can be directly on the weapon itself is blast. Even the new flaming espinas bow does not inflict poison like the melee weapons do. Blast bows are under the same restriction as all status weapons. The buildup is applied once every 3 hits on average. That means, out of 3 arrows, only one will apply blast. Codings work differently since every arrow will apply that status, but you will run out of codings eventually. With title update 2, we got one of the best new skills for status in general, build up boost. That skill increases the damage on attacks that inflict status by 20% on level 3. Status codings also get that buff, but build up boost alone won't cut it. This is where our second skill comes into play. Status Trigger Evading or dodging attacks will grant you with abnormal status buildup on every hit for 12 seconds maximum. That means that every arrow will apply blast for 12 seconds and therefore activate buildup boost on every hit for that period of time. Dodge Bolt, the switch skill for charging sidestep, is a perfect way to activate Status Trigger. Not only does it function as evade, but if you time it correctly, you also get instantly put to charge level 3. This combination between dodge bolt, status trigger and build up boost not only gives you 20% more damage, but also blast procs very frequently. It doesn't end there. Foray is one more skill that profits a lot from status. Providing attack and affinity when a monster suffers from poison, paralysis or an elemental blight is a good deal. Codings are the better option and the best status to have foray active for the longest is poison. Each monster has an individual poison timer. Some stay poisoned longer than others. This is where our last skill comes in, Camellia's Blessing. This skill doubles the duration monsters suffer from poison, making Foray stay longer active. Status Trigger and Build Up Boost are armor skills only, which means that the set has to be with specific pieces. The only armor that has Status Trigger is Gold Raffian, and recent Camellios has build up boost. We go for a mix between them to get our skills. The head and waist are called Raffian, with the chest, arms and legs being risen Camellios. This combination gives us status trigger 3, build up boost 3, Camellios blessing 4, evade window 4, foray 3, burst 2 and wirebug whisperer 1. Before we look into the decorations, let's figure out what weapon to use. There are a total of 4 bows with blast element. Pyroragna Kadaki, Blood Orange Bishatten, Scorned Magna Malo and Teostra. One sticks out, Blood Orange Bishatten. Not only does this bow not need bow charge plus, but it's also the only bow out of those 4 that can use poison coding. Being able to inflict poison yourself and activate 4A together with Camellia's Blessing is a game changer and makes this the bow of my choice. Another option would be the Pyroragna Kadaki bow, which can use power coding, has 20% affinity and one more level 2 slot, but needs bow charge plus to unlock charge level 4 and has 20 less raw. In that case, two palamutes with poison weapons should activate foray pretty consistently. With the bow chosen, it's time to slot in some skills. 3 tenderizer level 2, 2 physique level 4, 1 spread level 4 and 1 spread level 3, 2 critical level 2 and 2 quick load level 1 which leaves 1 level 1 slot open. This is the template. Now we can add a charm and cure your crafting skills. The priority for this is to get the last point of critical boost, attack boost at least level 4 and poison attack if you have room. Other skills that are usable are one more point of constitution, more attack boost and agitator or peak performance. As for the rampage skill, I slot in the anti-species for whatever monster I fight. Lastly, 
The weapon QW augments the all attack for a total of plus 15 base raw. Our build is now finished. As for bodies, one Palamut with a power weapon and Palamut Silkbinder together with a fighting style Palico and a power weapon is what I chose. Right now you see a Xenogre hunt. First, we trigger the feline to give our Palico the signal to use more support actions, like the rousing roar from fighting cell Palicos. This will grant us a 30% affinity buff after around 30 seconds. After that, we make our way to the target, buffing ourselves with Might Seed, Demon Powder and Dash Juice. Then it's time to hunt. We switch to Power Coding and do an aerial attack to activate the Palamut Silk Binder and build up some status. As soon as Sinogre is poisoned, we switch to Power Coding and just keep up the damage. With Sinogre poisoned, Foray activates and we gain attack and affinity. Now we only have to dodge an attack to activate status trigger and build up boost for more damage. Absolute Power Shot is also equipped for an eventual KO. As soon as we get the Viron Riding animation from our Palamut, it's time to set a trap and capture a Zenogre. below 2 minutes. Not bad. Let's take it to the next step. Kushaladawa is the perfect monster for that build. Not only are the elemental hit zones not great, but it also is very weak to poison and weak to blast. I will let the hunt speak for itself. Enjoy!
two and a half minutes. That's very good. Some other monsters this build performs well is Astalos, and for the PS version, Mitsusune is a good target. This build not only packs some damage, but is also fun to play. It's not stronger than elemental builds right now, but nonetheless it's usable to some degree. Don't expect that your hunts are insanely faster. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and consider subscribing for more speedruns, streams and other content around Monster Hunter. Big thanks to Gaudium for helping me once again by providing the monster icons, making the build card and making the thumbnail for this video. Check out on Twitter. Thank you for watching, have a good one.